much for doing this and then doing this and the video. I mean, I can't thank you enough. I've been telling, I, I've been telling everybody like when you write a song, you bring it in the studio and the band like brings it to life and you're like, Oh my God, like I see a whole other layer of the song. I've never had a video do that for a song. And this one, like it really, just makes the song so much more emotional for me and so much so many more levels it just worked out so beautifully it, it looks so good you guys to just come in there and be a part of that for me and bring it all to life and then completely exceed like any image i you know my imagine it would just like blew past my imagination and it's um i could watch you guys you know all day in in that place but thank you for doing it so great to watch it i was like there was so much power and happiness and everything all at once like if i mean we haven't had chance to be together like that since then so it's you know i was looking back on it it was crazy i love it yeah but tell, i'd love to hear your story like how you ended up in nashville and how you ended up boxing and all those great things so I lived here eight years now. I actually originally was moved here because I signed to a label here as a musician and a songwriter. That was my, that was the reason why I initially came to Nashville. Uh -huh. um, the label I was signed with was up in New York and I was making music back in London and they were like, oh, you're making country music in London? You need to be in Nashville. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. So I got an incredible deal situation and they moved me here and I knew no one, absolutely no one, never. I, thinking back, I was like, how did I survive? The first year was very lonely. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I have an accent from England, so <laughs> that helped break the ice with strangers, some good, some bad. <laughs> um, and, and that was eight years ago. And then six years ago, I met my now husband and he, is definitely the was the catalyst for me to like take a take a look at my health and like he he isn't a trainer of any kind he just looks like one of those greek statues that you chisel out you know just naturally it's very annoying even <laughs> if he eats cupcakes i can't stand people like that um <laughs> and so that just became like part of my life through him and then when i was making music and then i went on a radio tour and when i was on a radio tour i was like I kept posting my food and posting my exercises and people were like, I want to know what you eat and what you do. And I was like, well, if I had a dollar for how many people ask me what I eat. So I decided to study um, personal training and nutrition. Mm -hmm. And I would study like in the car and on the road, wherever we were. Yeah. Um, and then, and got my qualifications and then, you know, just started just, answering these people back and being like well I can help you with this or I can help you with that and and it's kind of grown from there and and for me it's I don't actually box I'm the only one that doesn't box mm -hmm. out of everyone I am I am purely nutrition and, and personal training okay yeah. um, and you know I do work with some men but I mainly work with women and that's my like I love it that it's it's my clients are my are my friends also yeah. um and i you know i love helping people and i feel like for me for many years like my music was like my selfish outlet that's where you have to be like into yourself and your feelings and blah blah, blah to write good songs or to perform mm -hmm. but then i now have this other opposite side of my life that i love just as much which is just the pouring out and so that kind of has i found found a good balance and I love it and and that's kind of taken over my life now so that's great that feeds you to see someone else just um be the best that they can be I love people yeah. like that I love you I love <laughs> and, I, and I also just you know as women we're so hard on ourselves like we don't need to to have to be hard on other women we're hard enough on ourselves already and, and you know I've kind of realize that over time and I and you know I'm a coach in any form like that's always been whether it's a workout or like any situation like that's why I've been birth partners and not had a kid yet it's crazy how that's happened oh, you have but yeah. you're on your way you're um how many I am. 
I am 30 weeks. Oh my God. I'm 30 weeks with a baby boy. And you know what's great? When I watched that video, I was like, I'm going to show Spout when he's older that his mommy was sled pushing when she was sick as a dog in this music video. Were you sick that day? I didn't know. I didn't know. Every day. Well, I felt sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but workouts were difficult. I That's bet. I didn't I do the that. I know that feeling, girl. Oh, yeah. It's like, it doesn't matter if you threw up or not. That sickness, that feeling is, it yeah. never goes away. And now it's back. I'm like, it's, we're yeah. coming to the end and it's like back again. It's very strange. The saltines. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know. But then that's also, be, so that's my next project is that I'm actually, during this time where we've had like more quiet time, I've been studying postpartum workouts and postpartum diet and so that when I move into this next season the people that wouldn't train with me before because they're like meh she does she's young or whatever whatever will now be like oh I'll work out with her she has a baby too like she must know what to do <laughs> so I'm like, let's get everyone in now so yeah, that's, that's been the plan now that's great one of the questions is like, what inspires you? I think I have an idea, but like you're, you're, I, and I know it probably changes all the time, but what's your um, inspiration? Where does that come from? I feel like, I, I mean, there I pull from so many different people. I mean, my husband is an inspiration. My mother is a huge inspiration. She is, she's a badass. Like she is now, well, I mean, oh my gosh, she's 71 now. She had us much older and uh, she did her life first and then had all her babies. That was her thing. And that's what she pushed on us too. She was like, do your life first, then have your babies. And, and uh, we stuck to that, which is why I'm like probably considered like an old mother here. I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm 34. It's not that old. <laughs> oh, no, girl, no way. <laughs> And so she's a massive inspiration. She's always like, she's always kind of pushed us to do whatever we love. It was never, you know, it was nothing was ever unobtainable from if you want it bad enough. That was always her, you know, if you work hard and you, and you're fair and you're kind and you just, you know, and don't take any crap from anyone. And, you know, she was like, as long as you have that attitude with a smile on your face, you will be fine. <laughs> that was her like her thing. And so that definitely has made me a, a stronger, a tougher girl. So yeah, those are my two big inspirations. Like, and they're close to me, which is great because it means I get to talk to them all the time. <laughs> I know, and it's the best, and it's the best. And it, so the other thing that we're doing in this is the this like hashtag and thought, like I fight for. And I know that's kind of like, I feel like it changes probably all the time and what, what comes to mind first when you think of that. But what, what do you think of when you see When I saw that, I was like, I fight for everyone. That was like, that was the first thing that came to me. And I'm like, I will. I mean, from the days when I used to get detention for sticking up for my sister, like, but you know, anybody that, anybody that needs it, like, I'll fight for you. That's like my, that, that's me for sure. Yeah, uh, I can tell because of the the reason that you're so good at what you do is that giving piece of you, um, and that's what you're doing every day in a way is teaching somebody how to fight for themselves, but you're fighting for them. That's so yeah. great. It's so great. You're gonna be such a good mom. Thank you for doing this. I thank you. I'm so glad I got to see you before baby comes, and I know that um, when everything opens up and we can do shows again and all those things, I hope I get to see all you guys. Yes, we'll have sure. baby in your arms then. But um, but thank you, and thank you for just making this video and this bringing this song to life for me. I'm so thankful. Hey.